Imagine a time when nothing existed but a vast expanse of darkness and emptiness. Then, in this profound void, God's voice echoed, Let there be light. And light was. This radiant energy dispersed the darkness, filling the infinite expanse. God, the eternal creator, observed this illumination, the first of his creations, and found it good. He named this light day and the remaining darkness, night. Thus, the first day of creation concluded with the birth of light. As the dawn of the second day broke, God's voice echoed once again. With a command as powerful as the winds, he split the waters, creating a separation between the waters below and those above. From this divine intervention, an azure expanse unfolded, painting a canvas of sky across the heavens. This sky, a majestic canopy of blue, stretched across the world below, a testament to God's might and creativity. And with this divine act, the boundless sky came into existence. The third day arrived, bringing with it another surge of God's creative power. His voice echoed across the cosmos, commanding the waters to make way for dry land. As the waters retreated, land emerged, sculpted by the divine hand into mountains, valleys, plains and deserts. Then, with a breath, God infused the land with life, coaxing forth a verdant carpet of greenery. Trees, plants and flowers sprouted, transforming the barren land into a lush, vibrant paradise. And thus, the earth was adorned with lush greenery, marking the end of the third day of creation. The fourth day dawned, and God's voice resounded through the cosmos. With divine artistry, he crafted the sun to rule the day, its radiant glow casting long shadows across the newborn earth. The moon too was created, its gentle light to rule the night alongside a thousand twinkling stars. These celestial bodies, hung in the vast expanse, began their timeless dance, bringing rhythm to the days and nights. And so, the fourth day concluded with the heavens adorned with radiant celestial bodies. With the dawn of the fifth day came a new surge of divine creativity. God, in his infinite wisdom, filled the seas with a myriad of creatures, each one a testament to his boundless imagination. From the smallest fish to the most majestic whale, life bloomed beneath the waves. Then. Turning his gaze skyward, he summoned birds of every kind. Their wings caught the wind, painting the sky with their graceful flight. Thus, the fifth day of creation marked the birth of sea and air creatures. The sixth day was a pinnacle in God's creative endeavor. With a sense of purpose, he summoned forth the creatures of the land. Mighty behemoths roamed the plains, while smaller creatures filled the earth with their diverse forms and colors. Each creature a testament to the divine wisdom and intricate design of the Creator. But the crowning glory of this day was yet to come. From the dust of the earth, God fashioned his most intricate creation, man. Imbued with divine breath, Man was not just another creature, but a reflection of the Creator Himself. God crafted humanity in His own image and likeness, marking a unique bond between the Creator and the created. From the first man and woman, all of humanity would spring forth, each person bearing the divine image, a living testament to God's creative power and love. And with the creation of man, God declared his masterpiece to be very good. With the dawn of the seventh day, God's work of creation was complete. Having woven the tapestry of existence, he paused to admire the grandeur of his masterpiece. This was a day of rest, a divine Sabbath. 
God chose to sanctify this day, setting it apart as a time for reflection and tranquility. It was a reminder of the divine rhythm of work and rest, the balance between creation and contemplation. And so, the seven days of creation concluded, marking the birth of the world as we know it.